sa nasasabihin ngayon. Mukhang uh, pagkatapos ipinilabas kanina ang pelikula ko kung saan may bold scene ako. Uh, inilabas ko na ang kaluluwa ko doon sa aking private wars, pati private parts. May labas na rin. So what is there to say? Um, except, I love giving lectures. So, for the next five minutes, it's a little lecture of what this book is all about. Okay, it's uh, been said over and over again, it's 40 years, tama yun. Napakaganda ng uh, movie press natin kanina. They, they really know what they're trying to uh, get from uh, their interviewee. And they were asking me about it. So, ano yung 40 years talaga? Kailan nagsimula? Uh, I answered them, I thought, in, uh, in the best way I could. Wherein I kept writing down notes, you know, from the very start. In other words, woke na ako, W-O-K-E. I was woke already from the very beginning. Teddy has already mentioned it na pinagagawa ko na yung mga kabaliwan na yun doon sa UP Diliman. And uh, napakaganda na sinabi niya that he did not realize it was already the genesis of a movement. Neither did I. You know, neither did I know that you know I was doing what would end up this way, and most especially, who would imagine writing at 888 pages of this book right now. So, what I'd like to talk about is really about two things, maybe three, uh, to cap it up later on. The first is really the journey. It was a nomadic journey. We were a bunch of nomads. In other words. Pagka-graduate na pagka-graduate ko galing sa Paris, lalong-lalo na pagka-graduate ko bilang top-notcher lang naman, di ba? <laughs> sa New York University, isang Bisaya, galing Iloilo, second language ang English, but straight A student in New York University. I think I was overdriven, alright? Pag uwi ko dito, Ang inakala ko talaga, sabi ko, pag-aagawan ako ng regal, pag-aagawan ako ng viva, Philippine cinema, here I come. Silence. Nothing. Wala. Wala. No calls, no nothing. In fact, even with a 10-foot pole, nobody wanted to touch me. So the next thing I did was, all right, Attorney Laksa, who was then the Secretary General of uh, the Film Academy of the Philippines, um, okay lang yan, sabi ko, kung wala talagang gusto kumuha sa akin, hindi mag-servisyo uh, publiko tayo, let's have workshops. All right, I mean, baka we're too early for, for this and we can overturn a lot of things. Education for me is the thing. So I started doing workshops. He started looking for money from Bill Masantos, FPJ. Sa silang dias na galing sa FPJ uh, script writing workshop, etc. So we invested on young people. And while the young generation was very open to the whole idea, ang mga movie veterans natin, medyo, I got the shock of my life. May mga nagtumatayo bago ako magsimula at nagsasabi, Nag-aaral ka lang sa New York eh, bumalik ka dito, ni uh, box office hit, wala ka. Who are you to teach us? Oo nga, ano? I mean, I couldn't be, I couldn't, you know, change the fact that gano'n ang nangyari. Pero sabi lang, diretso lang ako sa aking pagtuturo, whether may gustong matuto o hindi. But anyway, to cut it short is that the journey was bumpy along the way. Nagtuturo ka, walang mga equipment, obsolete yung equipment. Nagtuturo ka, nagkakaroon ka ng festival, wala kang mahahanap na pelikula. Kaya malaking, malaking, malaking paghanga and in total o ako sa nagagawa ng chair natin ngayon. And I, I really want to use this opportunity to, to say this kasi we know, Teddy and I know exactly how hard it is to put up film festivals to put up, to organize workshops, to do a lot of things that you have doubled up than what we did ng panahon namin in the 80s and in the 90s. Of course, ang mas mahirap sa amin pa una was that nobody understood what we were doing. So we were breaking new grounds. Alright, so ngayon medyo uh, ang nangyari ngayon eh, may generation na na nakapag-aral, medyo bukas ng ibang mga isipan at many of our movie or government sectors are now more open. 
But during our time, believe me, and she still knows that she was the secretary, she was the executive director of NCCA, she was having a hard time how to allot budget. We wanted to go to Davao, we wanted to go to Zamboanga, we wanted to go to Cagayan, we wanted to go to Dumaguete. Saan niya kukunin ang pera niya? I think the board was not really... But she was there fiercely fighting for us. Thank you for that, Cecile, also. So the journey, as I said, was long, winding, and very thorny. All right? Uh, along the way, we met a lot of people and really big giants themselves. Let's not forget Virgin Moreno. All right? Let's not forget. Let's give her a round of applause. Let's not forget Sir Reyes. Let's not forget, you know, our mentors, Ricky Lee, that we are now so happy. He's now the national artist. Isang kalamit lang yan si Ricky. Tuturo agad yan. And the one thing that touched me so much recently na mag-usap kami ni Ricky is that, alam mo, Nick, naalaala ko kung saan ako nagsimula talaga magturo ng workshop. Nang inimbita mo ako, hindi ko pa alam nung una kung paano mag-workshop. Pero ngayon, I mean, ilang generations na ang naturuan niya nang dahil sa workshop. But because of the workshops that uh, I asked him to teach the Mowell Fund. Look exactly, I mean, we are now seeing a new generation of people. So, uh, people, things, places, and events. Not to mention the fight we had with the, the MTRCB before, with the political changes that were happening, etc. Happening, etc., etc. So, along the way, um, yun muna, yun ang uh, gusto mo sabihin, the journey was really made this possible. It was not a very simple journey. So those who, uh, you know, see themselves right now, uh, who are embarking on something else, you never know. Uh, um, around us right now, maybe one person who's really, you know, doing something. This is a new age. Digital cinema is a new age. What is streamline? What is on online streaming? It's a new game. I totally see myself, and this is a testimony to the 20th century filmmaking. Okay? So that's why I could record it. I could not write it. Bakit? What took you so long, some people would ask. What took you so long to write it? History is, is a very peculiar thing. It knows when to have a closure. And I think the 20th century is over. What we are talking now is history, legacy. All right? But something has started right now. So I am not going to talk about what we did in the past. If you open the dedication page of this book, it says, to filmmakers yet to come. It's really a quote coming from my favorite French philosophers, Deleuze and Guattari, who really talk about to people yet to come. In other words, we're always addressing ourselves to the people who are yet to come. And so I'm addressing right now, filmmaker representing the film community to all of you who are yet to come. Ganito kami noon, paano kayo bukas? O paano kayo ngayon? Hindi ba? And lastly, uh, as I talk about the journey, the last thing I want to talk about is really uh, what we stand for in alternative cinema. It is about multiplicity. One thing that came out of the EDSA revolution, what the thing that came out in terms of the social disorder that happened, the crash and the collapse of martial law is the myth of the monolith. All right? We cannot be driven by monolithic principles anymore. Not even by the church. And that's a brave thing to say in a Catholic country like this. Not even the government should serve as a monolith. Not even our school. Not even me who's standing before you right now. What we are learning now is fragmentation, and there's no danger in that. You should not even be afraid of it. Multiplicity is the principle behind it. In other words, and this is my contribution to the Pelikulaya right now, we are all colors, all right? We are all colors of the rainbow, and may I hear amen to that, all right? I mean, we are all the colors in the rainbow, and let's not be scared about it because we're beautiful. All right, we may be different from each other, but that's exactly the virtue of it. So the films that I'm talking about and what alternative cinema is all about in simple terms is it is, it is multiplicity. It is cinema in multiplicity. In other words, hindi na tayo pwede mag-isip na ay naku, industrial film, popular cinema lang yan. Can you imagine when I was starting uh, with this, somebody approached me in one of the pelikula at Lipunan um, gatherings and then said, 
Uh, you know, um, short film is not film. Ginanong talaga ako, diretso sa mukha ako. Short film is, is not film. What is it in cinema that you cannot understand? And you're talking to a top notcher in New York University? You want me to give you a lecture in front of all of these people? Pero diretso sinabi sa akin, ano ang hindi mo maintindihan sa pelikula? In other words, advocating exactly that it has to be long, it has to be commercial, it has to be the movie stars and everything. What is it that we represent when we talk about multiplicity? The films are short. The films are done commercial. What's wrong with that? The first film that was ever made was not the Laga Bukid. I corrected that in this book. It was a newsreel shot not in Manila but in Cebu. Cebu is the birthplace of Philippine cinema, not our proud Manila. Take that. And it was a newsreel. And then from then on, we have animation. We have experimental film, the most difficult film. And that's why I applaud the presence here of some of our experimental filmmakers. Among them, please really give a round of applause to Sari Delena. Unbelievable. Married to a fantastic sci-fi director, my God, maybe the only one in the country here. Then we've got, of course, the most poetic of all experimental filmmakers. And I'm sorry I cannot mention you all, but he is really the poster boy of, uh, of alternative cinema. I mean, he's the one and only, really. It's Raymond Red. Yeah. Raymond Red, please stand up. You need to do that. Come on. There you are. Now, Raymond Red is really, you know, I mean, you know, he attended my class, uh, Cinema's Art Workshop in UP, 17 years old, fresh graduate from the National Arts, Makiling, and then it was his first sem in UP, so he attended that workshop. And if I may be correct in my memory, Raymond, he did not go back to school after attending my <laughs> workshop, telling me, and don't, mga bata, don't do this, ha? Huh? Don't do this. What he did was, and I will never forget that, if he was 17 years old in 1981, give and take, this is around 30, maybe 30 years. And then he said, I know what I'm going to do in my life. Oh, huh? I forgot to forget that Raymond, but I remembered it. He knows what I'm going to do in my life. And who will give us our first Khan Award? The first Khan Short Film Award. All right, and that's Raymond Red. It is still Anino. So we are proud. He, he did us proud. All right, there are so many other things you can talk about, but in multiplicity, you know, we find so many aspects of our personality as a people. So I will end with saying, actually, alternative cinema is redefining our notion of the nation. Sino tayo bilang bansa? Alalang-alala ko when I was shooting my revolutions happen like refrains in a song, right in the middle of EDSA, Surrounded by, the, by, surrounded by a million people, it is an autobiographical film. At ang tinanong ko doon sa pelikula na yun ay, you know, kasama ba ang bakla sa pag-define natin ng nation? So I was fighting for that. I want to relate also to our uh, Pride Week today, alright? Uh, and the whole symbolism and, and the metaphor of colors, alright? So as we journeyed our way, we found all this multiplicity of our personalities, of our culture, and in the end, uh, if we indeed are serious with our um, notion of defining our nation, then I think we have to uh, really accept uh, all the colors of the rainbow. And with that, I uh, do thank you a lot. All right, but uh, before I go, I just want, you know, advocacy ko, walang katigilan yan eh. Uh, I just want to gift uh, the Film Academy of the Philippines, all right, of a new found, may, may na discover na naman ako na pelikula. These are uh, considered to be lost for maybe 30 years, all right. This includes here, Roxley's Tronum Puti, lost for more than 30 years. Here is the original. With a Super 8 film, this is the only copy you've ever got. Hindi siya video. You can make as many copies, but this is this is Roxley's original Tronum Puti, the classic. All right, and included here is the first gay experimental film. You should see the film by Rune Layumas. Are you here, Rune? 
I'm so proud of you. Hindi siya dumate kasi call center siya eh. So anyway, okay. So, uh, sure natutulog pa yun. Uh, but included here is his film, Malay Tao, the most gothic uh, gay film that has been made. Uh, it's a classic. Um, and it has to be preserved. And finally, there is a film called The Criminal, a very important film by one of the masters of uh, Philippine animation, early Philippine animation, Nonoy the Divas, The Criminal. All right, so may I turn this over to Chair Lisa and to Sir Don Arawan. Are you here? Sir Don, ah, there you are. Photo lang, photo. Because they did a wonderful, they did a wonderful uh, uh, digital digitization of my films. All of my films have been digitized, and I'm very, very grateful. Chair Sir Don, thank you. Okay, children. <laughs>